the law found that there was no collusion. This is what, again, it's just based on the premise yeah. of yeah. Donald Trump thinks he's above the law. None of us think that he's above the law. Someone is innocent until proven guilty, whether it's the president, whether it's an officer, or whether it's some kid in a red hat being screamed down by black Hebrew Israelites yeah. who think white people all go to hell. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're gonna move, again, question of the day, do you think Donald Trump should be impeached? <laughs> do you think he will be impeached? What's the over under? Uh, right. John Oliver has made a video about this, a video. He did a show about it and he did this yeah. whole segment and they always get, they always go viral and I, I don't entirely understand. I think I he's funny, but these segments aren't great. Uh, right. So let's just use it as, as a springboard here to get into impeachment and what that would look like, what would be required and why it makes very little sense. Um, let's see how strong the case is. We have a first yeah. clip here from yeah. John Oliver talking about impeachment. We're going to focus on something getting talked about a lot these days, impeachment. Ever since this president got elected, people have been dying to see him impeached. Not everyone. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say everybody That had would show them. the blind spot. And by the way, before we get started, I got to say, John Oliver really good at taking what should be a three-minute segment <laughs> and stretching it out to yes. 20 minutes. Just a mind-numbing on on 20 on minutes. And on and on yeah. without any points, without any other undergirding sources. And honestly, I will say this, for all of our criticism uh, of, of Vox, at least they just make up sources. Yeah. Half Asian Bill, that's a big reason you're here today because I think this is right in your wheelhouse. But let's go to his, uh, his, his next clip, John Oliver. They think that you get impeached, you're gone. And that is completely not true. It's not the means huh. to the end that people think. All you do, vote to impeach, bye-bye birdie. <laughs> <laughs> It isn't that. I don't understand. Why oh are they gosh. laughing? She just named the title that. of a film. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bye bye, laugh Birdie. They're laughing at her, guys. Yeah, she, yeah. She yeah. Is. In the heat of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great show. Take that. Is that a show? Applause? Yeah. I know it's a film, Sidney Poitier. There's a show now? Yeah, he did the show. It was, the show. It, was, it was like early morning, you know? Like you didn't have cable, you had to watch that. And that locks. I didn't mean to spoil your whole day like that. Lumbo. screwed it all up. But here's the thing. <laughs> she's she's right. She's absolutely yes. correct here. Yeah. And John Oliver later goes on to admit that. But uh, all right, again, like I said, paper thin, <laughs> twenty minute segment. We're going. Is there anything here? Yeah, Here's the closest they kind of come. Here is how the impeachment process works. Thank Typically, you. it begins right. uh, with an inquiry in the House of Representatives, inquiry. during which a committee investigates and holds hearings into a president's true, conduct. Happy, and true. if Very a majority true. decides they found impeachable offenses, they vote to impeach. But correct. That is not the end. That merely right. moves the process to the Senate where a trial is held. And the president is only removed from office if a two-thirds majority votes for that. So what is the case mm. for putting this president through that process? Next, teach us about conjunctions and their functions. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Please. You're bringing up bad Don't. memories. But it's true. You do have to have the votes in the House. But he here's... Yeah. People, Democrats, notably Pelosi, arguably the most powerful Democrat in the, in the party, One they don't say. support it. No. And you don't just need a majority. Like I said, you need two thirds majority in the Senate where Republicans have a majority. No. By the way, hit the notification bell because apparently uh, subscriptions don't mean anything. Join up at Mug Club. We appreciate it. Everyone who has. And uh, yeah. iTunes for those who have not uh, not yet subscribed yeah. on iTunes. Uh, everything he said uh, sounds well, correct. Well, quick, quick. Fashion? So he's right. So, I mean, you have to analogize it to like maybe the criminal, the criminal sphere where you have a grand jury. The prosecutor goes in front of a jury, decides, yeah. can we even bring charges? That's what the House is. There's an initial investigation even before that. So then you take it to the floor of the House. The House decides. By a majority, are you going to actually issue articles of impeachment? You draw them up, you get them done, you vote. Then that's when the rest of the trial happens. So what typically you would call the trial, and the trial, the jury members are the senators. So you've got a super majority you've got to do there. So yeah. that is right. It's three. Investigation, yeah. articles, trial. So, sounds like a lot of work. Can we just get just get Comey in there? Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> All right. I'd apply. Uh, let's go fun. to the next clip. One area where we already have considerable evidence against Trump is obstruction of justice. Considerable, It's huh? a very oh, wow. serious <laughs> allegation. It was among the articles of impeachment it is a serious Trump, allegation. Nixon it is. and Clinton. Obstruction was also half of Robert Mueller's report. It is a serious allegation. Very. That's why you it made is. it. <laughs> it would be a serious allegation for me to accuse you of rape, you rapist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. That would be bad if it were true. Yes. Rapist! It doesn't make any just, sense at all. Proof. Please. And he's right, by the way, that both Nixon and Clinton had articles of impeachment yeah, brought against did. him. Obviously, uh, Nixon resigned, uh, but uh, partly because of obstruction. So, mm. understood, but that's where the comparison of Nixon and Clinton with Donald Trump ends. Huh. Why? What could, let me ask you guys, what could hmm. possibly be the difference between Nixon, Clinton, and Donald Trump? Why is one not like the other? Whoa, 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 whoa. They committed the crime! Oh, that's oh, they're right. guilty! They were actually guilty that's of the a crime. That's the big difference. Watergate did happen. Clinton did commit perjury, <laughs> lying about lying. intern sexes. 
Yep. Ooh, all yeah, the sexes. All, the, sex all the sexes with, the with all the interns. That's just the one we he caught. He chose poorly. <laughs> and this is one thing, too. There can, I don't know how there can be obstruction if there isn't an underlying crime. There's, right. There would have to be a corrupt motive. Think about it for a second. Second. And I want to go to Half Asian Bill on this. Yeah. Two key words. Obstruction and justice. So I'm just going to go by yeah. the legal dictionary from Cornell. Are they reputable? Cornell, I assume? Cornell is a good university. All right, okay. <laughs> Obstruction, <That's my> cousin. <laughs> impeding, stopping, blocking. <laughs> Justice, a concept of fairness or moral rightness, in this case as it relates to a ruling or finding. Okay, so we know <laughs> President Donald Trump didn't commit any collusion. Yeah. Right. So in this case, what would justice, what would be justice? The conclusion that no collusion <laughs> occurred? What did Trump do? He screamed and he yelled, yes, he threw tantrums over the fact that no collusion occurred. <laughs> How is that, that's not obstructing, that's assisting yeah. justice. Yeah, and the AG even said, and I know we're gonna get to it probably in a second, but the AG said there wasn't enough evidence. To, well, he said, yeah, it's, for it's tough to be acting and, with corrupt motives. Your motives are that you're innocent. That's actually yeah. from, from Barr. Yeah, there you go, see? That, and, and also the uh, the deputy AG said, not enough evidence. Like, these are two, two of the brightest minds in legal jurisprudence. Well, <laughs> so, not allegedly. if you listen to John Oliver. I think we have more, we have, oh. we have more clips to get oh, to. All right, yeah, like I said, do. paper thin. Here's why this really matters. But for Don McGahn, Trump might have stopped an investigation into himself. And if a president can shut down an investigation, he can basically do anything with no consequences. It's a yes. big, big deal. Wait, but Trust Trump... Me. He didn't shut down an investigation. <laughs> exactly. Even when Trump was innocent, uh. Democrats forced the taxpayer to spend two years, thirty-five million dollars yep. investigating. Him. He couldn't <laughs> even stop that. Quit acting like he's Nazi Thanos for crying out loud. <laughs> he goes on to talk about the sort of the the Sorry. precedent. I guess he doesn't use the word, if I'm not mistaken, that it sets. Next clip. To be honest, the thing that's tipped the scales. Oh, now he's being honest. Is yes. remembering that not opening an inquiry comes with consequences too, because it essentially uh -huh. sends the message that the president can act with impunity, which is a dangerous precedent Wait, to set. Hold on, no, hold on a second. What message? That to the left you're now guilty Jeez. until proven innocent unless you're a black guy waving an accurate scale replica gun at passersby in the park. I get it. It's uh, yeah. just Whoops. there are different strokes. <laughs> if an investigation finds nothing, this is what this is the message that's been sent. Okay, yeah. He's talking yeah. about the message that would be sent had Donald Trump stopped the investigation. Right. The message that is sent right now is that Democrats, the left, will destroy you. There will be a witch yes. hunt. It doesn't matter if you're innocent. It doesn't matter what you've done. We've learned that no. from Kavanaugh, Covington kids, all Trump supporters who've been tarred and feathered as racist, yeah. Yeah. and Jesse Smollett. Uh, let's go to the next clip. Don Jr.'s failure to alert the FBI when Russia offered them intel during the campaign, and his response was appalling. Should he have gone to the FBI when he got that email? Okay, let's I put think yourself in a position okay. you're a congressman. Okay. Somebody comes Look. up and says, hey, I have information on your opponent. Do you call the FBI? I don't it's think. Coming from I'll Russia, tell you what. You do. I've seen a lot of things over my life. I don't think in my whole life I've ever called the FBI. In my whole life, I don't. You don't call the FBI. This is somebody that said we. How have many people were laughing at him for that? You called the FBI. Right. Yeah. Let exactly. me call the FBI. <laughs> You're like, you I do it life every week. The FBI that. director says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. <laughs> okay. Boom. There is so much in there. No, Your Honor, the defense is wrong. wrong. <laughs> Here's, first off, no info changed hands, okay? No. And here's the crazy part. This is something that no one, they, they, again, this is predicated the impeachment on because there's no, no collusion. Right. There hasn't been any proof of obstruction. Oh, right. So now it's, well, hold on a second, maybe there was information exchanged. When people talk about Trump Jr. meeting with the Russians, the Russians they met with worked for Fusion GPS. Oh. I feel like I've been saying this until I'm blue in the face. The same Fusion <laughs> GPS that the Clinton campaign hired to create the hoax steel dossier. very awkward. We know that for a fact. So Oliver is in disbelief that Trump didn't call the FBI about the Russians offering dirt, but Hillary Clinton actually paid Fusion GPS, <laughs> the firm who worked with those Russians, to create a fake dossier to influence the election? I, I, I'm, it is amazing to me that it hasn't been covered more. Did you notice that if anything bad happens, it, it comes back that they blame it on, pre, on President Trump? And listen, I list, okay, let me, let's be real. The guy's an yeah. okay? Yeah. We can all admit, yeah. like, he's an that's yeah. his biggest crime here. No, you rug, okay? The FBI sucks. We get it. Like, he's yeah. kind of a dick, but he's not guilty of these crimes. Two things can be true at once. Right. Yeah. It is remarkable to me that we are talking, and this is what they blame it on Trump, that people have lost faith in the institutions of uh, American institutions like the FBI. Oh, gosh. No, you know why? Because we see that they can be used as political yes. weapons. That's yeah. the issue. Why don't we talk about the problem rather than the fact that Donald Trump is Foolishly complaining about a valid problem. <laughs> the defense is wrong. I think we have one last clip here. Geraldine is right. I can't guarantee that impeachment will work out the way that you want it to because it probably won't. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth doing. Because if nothing else, we'd be standing by the basic fundamental principle that nobody is above the law.
And Ball. in doing so, it would mean that when people tell dying relatives that we're doing everything we can to hold this president accountable, at least this time, it would actually be true. No, what you would be saying uh, is that the rule of law me. doesn't matter, that someone isn't innocent until proven right. guilty, that no one is above the law. He's not above the law. The law found that there was no collusion. This is what, again, it's just based on the premise yeah. of yeah. Donald Trump thinks he's above the law. None of us think that he's above the law. No one in this room, by the way, no. I don't think anyone here, the Hillary Clinton voter, I don't know, no one in this room <laughs> thinks that President Trump is above the law. That's not what we're saying. What yeah, we are no. saying is, just like the Covington kids, just like Jesse Smollett, just like uh, all of the hate crime hoaxes that we've gone through this last year, does almost all of the Black Lives Matter crimes that turn out to be hoaxes. Someone is innocent until proven guilty. Whether it's the president, whether it's an officer, or whether it's some kid in a red hat being screamed down by black Hebrew yeah. Israelites who think white people all go to hell. That's reasonable. Yeah, I think it's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> but like, he doesn't make one <laughs> point here. He's like, it might not work out as you hope. But we have to, okay, first off, I don't agree with the second part. But right. I do agree with that first part. You're right. It might not end up as the left hopes. Yeah. Let's go through it. Walk it through. Okay, best case scenario, Trump gets removed, and you get President Pence. I don't know. Maybe I'll <laughs> sign on for that. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, click one of these other videos in these boxes. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and join Mug Club at lightofthecrowder.com slash mug club. It's the only way we keep this kind of content going on YouTube since we've been entirely demonetized recently, <laughs> which is fine. We'll be okay.